guys welcome back to the channel so this is the last video of the lambda sanction and it will be a small one because in this we are going to discuss about the lambda monitoring uh, which is implemented by AWS lambda itself using the cloud watch so you can see this is the function which we created in our last video it was four days ago so let's get into this and there's a monitoring tab let's click on that and you can see all these metrics which are provided by the cloud watch for AWS Lambda. So since I created it four days back, let's go to one week. And here you can see some metrics basically being plotted by the CloudWatch. So the, the duration for which my function ran, error counts, uh, deadlift. So you should be basically familiar with uh, these metrics. At least you should know the name like invocation, duration, error counts, and success rate because if it doesn't feature as AWS Lambda question, it can come as uh, uh, CloudWatch fun, uh, CloudWatch uh, question in the associate exam because Lambda doesn't feature that much in AWS associate exam. There's also logs provided for you in CloudWatch, uh, log groups. So if you go into CloudWatch, you go into log groups, you see the Lambda creates a log group for you. Uh, every time you create a uh, lambda function basically with the name of the lambda function so this is my current lambda function these are some of the lambda functions which i've created earlier so in this log group let's see what it logs so you can i am going to select the latest one and it basically logs everything so you can see that connection to my rds instance was successful and everything like that not much there but if you have a very busy Lambda function, this log groups can be really helpful for you to basically troubleshoot what, what went wrong because it does, Lambda doesn't give you enough information when it fails. So all this information gets logged here. So the, this is a very good starting point basically. So this is it for this small video guys. Uh, with this we complete a Lambda function uh, and probably I hope you don't get a lot of uh, Lambda questions in the associate exam, but uh, I think these videos would be enough for you to give you a good overview of AWS Lambda for your AWS associate exam. Okay, thank you for watching guys.